just around the corner, and one local sheriff's office is doing its part to make sure kids have a safe and fun time. Sergeant Shannon Jenkins with the Benton County Sheriff's Office here this morning to tell us about this year's costumes, candy, and cops event. Good morning. Thank yes. you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. For people who aren't familiar with this event, I know that it's in its third year, so it's been going on for a little bit now, but what yes. can families expect this year? Gosh, they can expect a lot of fun, mm -hmm. food, games, activities, and a ton of candy. Yeah, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Uh, the thing about this event that I think is really cool is that it's not just for the younger kids. It really is for kind of the older ones, too. There's a little bit really for everyone. Yeah, so we've got a few things. We didn't want to just appeal to the younger kids. Right. We know that they have older siblings. Mm -hmm. They get to kind of tag along <laughs> sometimes. So we have a few fun things kind of set up for the kids. Um, they'll have to come out and see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, they're going to have a blast. Why are events like this so important for the sheriff's office to have in our community? It's just community relationships. Mm -hmm. It's building those relationships with everybody in our community and law enforcement. And, uh, you know, it just kind of humanizes the, the law enforcement officers for these young children. Yeah. And they can see that we, we love to have fun and, and do some of the same things that they like to do. Now, a lot of families have kiddos. They're watching right now. What are some of the things that both not only parents need to keep in mind this Halloween, but children, too? Yeah, you know, so I know they get really excited and want mm -hmm. to get to the next house and see what goodies they're going to get. But, you know, just kind of slow down a little bit and, and uh, yeah, buddy up, always buddy up. Mm -hmm. You know, have a, a friend or a brother or sister or parent with you. Um, if you have a phone, make sure you carry that around. And parents, there's an application that you can put on your child's phone. You can find them anywhere. Um, so we strongly suggest to, to download some, one, a, uh, some sort of application, that, that a location device. Um, you know, but let your parents take a look at your candy before you try to eat it and definitely, mm -hmm. you know, don't go in somebody's home or somebody's car. But, you know, speaking of cars, um, we also like to let, you know, remind drivers that, you know, we have kids out and they're right. excited and they're running all over the place. So just kind of be aware and, and go a little bit slower and watch out for these kids. And it doesn't hurt to have some sort of reflective device or mm -hmm. a glow stick or something kind of fun. I know we were just talking about glow yeah. sticks, an old time favorite, <laughs> one of those. Yes. But it is. It's, it's really important that people uh, are mindful of all of the children Very running much. around on Halloween. When and where is this event taking place? I know it is free and open to the public. It is. It's going to be held at the Benton County sheriff's office and it's tomorrow night no rain from 5 30 <laughs> to 7. rick you better be listening we need your magic to happen <laughs> yes <laughs> sergeant jenkins thank you so much for joining us this morning of course we'll have all of this information on our website later this morning that's fox24news.tv